Hey, Shannon, it's good to catch up with you again down here in sunny Florida. Last time I saw you, you were up there getting uh, photographed for the Chrome and Elegance calendar. And where are you headed to? Uh, we got a natural gas pipeline skid going down here to a power plant outside of Tampa, Florida. Brought it out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. How's it been going for you so far? Uh, I've been going pretty flawless, so to speak. Well, tell the folks what you're working with and all the good stuff. Somebody want to hear about it. I got a 2013 389 glider kit. We built there at my shop. 6NZ cat. It's uh, peaked and tuned up a little bit. Uh, 18 speed, 355s, 326 wheelbase, air ride front end. A couple little knickknacks here and there on it. You call them knickknacks, huh? Yes, sir. I don't want to say chrome because then I got to think I just went to the patcher and bought some stick on stuff and put on there. I heard that right. Well, talking about some chrome and custom parts, what are some of the custom parts you got running there? I got six inch straights on it, picket elbows, Midwest style visor, custom cabin sleeper panels, box in the deck plate that lecherry raises up from my uh, chains and binders, the front end air ride on it, painted half fenders on the rear. Uh, custom drop panel between the uh, mud flap spec on the frame. 20 inch bumper with the flip kit on it. Uh, other than that, that's, that's about it. I mean, just kind of a plain, simple truck, you know, a little pizzazz on it. I'm sure a lot of folks like it. It looks pretty good going down the road here. Casey, tell the folks that are watching this video what it entails being a pilot car, and, uh, and especially with this load that Shannon uh, moving here. Give the viewers a rundown on, on some of the things that you guys need to do. Now basically what I do up here is just watch for uh, obstructions on the shoulder that he may have to avoid or slower vehicles. Slow four pulling the wagon. Seven four is coming up the ramp. There's the big truck. We'll hold us number two. Make sure that he knows in advance if there's anything that might obstruct his travel. Because um, him being as wide as he is, it's you gotta make sure that give him time to get moved over and going back right. When it comes to the, the, the full wheelers, what are some of the things that that you're looking for there? And also with the big trucks, what are some of those things that you're looking for? Uh, I, I kinda try to watch and see how people act. You know, because there's, there's some people that are just not paying attention to nothing at all. Give them the heads up that we're coming, and uh, give the big trucks a heads up that we're coming so they can prepare for us to pass. 10-4, easy enough. How about you, Ryan? Yeah, I got you. Hey, give me a quick rundown on your truck, the year, make, model. It's a 2000 Peterbilt 379 extended hood. Got a 8-inch straight stacks on it, uh, picking elbows. 326 inch wheelbase, just like Shannon's. 3406 E model cat. You know, little things done here and there. I've seen some guys, they paint their truck like a flat black. Uh, what's the color on that? This is actually a uh, primer gray, is what color it is. We're going for the old school hot rod look. You know, got some pen striping on it. Dash is all pen striped. Just more of an old school looking truck. I'm trying to keep it good, you know. 10 4. Shannon, so uh, tell me about how long you've been uh, trucking for, and how did you get into trucking? I've uh, pretty much been in the trucking industry my whole life, is all I've ever done. Uh, Dad was in it, he had a company, and I was born and bred into it and wouldn't want to do anything else. It makes a lot of sense, a lot of guys uh, raised up in trucks, and uh, that's what they know. They're second, third, fourth generation, so that's a good deal. So tell me, what do you go by on the radio? Uh, most everybody calls me Swag on the radio. What's in for, Swag? Oh, well, uh, what's the name of your company, and what do you guys haul? Uh, JD Specialized Transport is the name of the company. Uh, mainly just all flatbed, heavy haul. Uh, you know, different commodities, uh, you know, machinery, uh, you know, items like we have on now, natural gas kids, do some oil field work, uh, refuse, take some of these items of the refuse for uh, trash incineration, 
Uh, more or less, whatever pays pretty good and fit on the wagon. I got Ryan Wood behind me. Uh, he's running down here with me to Apollo Beach. Got another piece of the puzzle that we got to take down here. We got uh, three trucks total. Uh, we got four skids total going down here. Now, Fred, you're in the you're in the rear. What are some of the things that you're looking for, and what are the what's your your role in getting these guys moved down the road? The main thing is uh, vehicles coming up, maybe aggressive drivers, different things like that, or some every now and then just gotta come and just kind of look out, you know, keep an eye on them, make sure they're paying attention and run into something. Ten and four. Casey, I didn't ask you how many years have you been operating a pilot car. I'm uh, going on year eight now. And uh, you're in the rear there, uh, Fred. How many years have you been running a pilot car? I've been doing it since 2001. If you had a chance to talk to a motorist regarding uh, safety and driving on the highways, what would you convey to them to make your job a little bit easier? Uh, just pay attention, use some common sense. All I got is one track mind, they're just trying to accomplish what they're trying to accomplish, which I understand, you know, it's, that's society, but you know, we're trying to accomplish the same thing they're trying to accomplish, trying to get something from point A to point B. 10-4.
do you guys go from here? Uh, go over here and, and uh, get us a little fuel and figure out what we do. Probably going to go down to the beach for a day and a half, so hang out, and then leave out Sunday morning and headed back to uh, Oklahoma. Well, 10 4, it was great uh, catching up with you. Keep her safe, and uh, we'll see you soon, huh? Hey, no doubt, no doubt. We appreciate it, and uh, glad we got a chance to catch up with each other. 10 4, thank you, ma'am. 10 4.